Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In this video tutorials series, we are going to understand how to create responsive websites using Bootstrap. Before I proceed further, first I would like to discuss what is Bootstrap. First we understand what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is one of the most popular responsive front-end framework built on top of jQuery library and Popper JS library meant to design responsive websites. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework meant to design responsive websites. What is responsive? Responsive means content being displayed properly on variety of devices of different screen sizes. Content being displayed properly on variety of devices of different screen sizes. That is, if the content of the website is displayed properly in a mobile, tablet, PC or any other device independent of the device screen size, then it is called as responsive website. What is a responsive website? Responsive website is a website whose content is being displayed properly on a mobile, PC, tablet, any other device guys. Here we have the Bootstrap website. Bootstrap website, you can see it is actually a responsive website. If I reduce the screen size, the content gets automatically adjusted and the content is displayed properly guys. In the PC, the Bootstrap website looks like this. We can easily navigate through the content, we can read everything properly. And in, in the tablet, it is going to look like this. If you open the same bootstrap site in the tablet, it is going to look like this. You can see that we can read the content properly. The content got adjusted automatically. We can read the content properly, right? Content is getting displayed properly. And if I reduce the screen size down to the mobile size, still the content is getting displayed properly. We can expand the navigation from here, navigation bar. We can collapse the navigation bar, right? You can see how the content is getting displayed, right? So this is actually called as responsive website. Responsive website is a website whose content is displayed properly in mobile, in tablet, as well as in PCs. Understanding? Now we understood what is responsive. Good. Let's understand what is front-end. Front-end means visual side of the website. Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework, right? So what is front-end? Front-end means visual side of the website. That is, when a user visits to a website, what he or she sees at the front or what is visible to the user at the first sight is called as front-end of the website. So what you are seeing here, this is actually called as front-end of the website, guys. Okay, Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework. Let's understand what is responsive front-end framework. What is a framework? Framework is a collection of pre-built resources working together to perform a specific task. Generally, framework means collection of pre-built resources working together to perform a specific task. Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework, right? Bootstrap is also a framework. So, Bootstrap also has collection of pre-built resources meant to design responsive visual side of the website. Bootstrap is a collection of pre-built resources. In Bootstrap, you find CSS files, JavaScript files, font files, etc, etc. They all work together. They all work together and they help you to design responsive websites. If you learn Bootstrap, you can design responsive websites easily, guys. Okay, in the upcoming video tutorials, we understand how to create responsive websites using Bootstrap step by step. So I hope you guys have clearly understood what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a responsive front-end framework meant to design responsive websites. There are many other front-end frameworks available in the market like we have UI Kit, Semantic UI, Material UI, jQuery UI, Skeleton, Milligram, etc, etc. I strongly suggest you people to do some research on other uh, front-end frameworks guys. Uh, I think that's it for this video tutorial guys. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly, try to remember the content, what we are discussing here. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about Bootstrap. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. 
for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial